you are welcome to my social media platform. Maybe you are watching me on YouTube or you're seeing me on Facebook right now. God bless you. Please, I remain my humble self, Evangelist Engineer Chukwode Namane. And um, if today is your first day of coming across my YouTube channel, kindly subscribe and like this video. If possible, leave your comment. It is very important to us. And if you're seeing us on Facebook, please kindly follow our page. God bless you. If you've already liked our page or subscribed to our YouTube channel, God bless you also. Today, it is my honor to guide us through dreams. You see, like I used to tell people, Deuteronomy 29 verse 29, he said that secret thing belongs to the Lord God, but the world reveals belongs to us. Actually, dream is not meant for us to be afraid. Dream is a good thing. It is a revelation and a message from the Lord God. But when we have this dream and we are not able to inter interpret it or understand it, instead of becoming a solution, it turns to become a problem. God bless you as we proceed. Today we'll be treating dream. You have a dream where you are drawing water from a well. And I want you to know that there are many types of dreams about well, like I've listed some of them, like drawing dirty water from well, second one, dragging well with somebody, where you are dragging well with somebody, the third one, where somebody fell into a narrow well, the fourth one, drawing a clean water from dream, which is the one we are going to treat today, then fifth one, drawing water from an inclined well, a well that instead of the well being like this, the well is like this, and when you are drawing water, the water is a kind of splashing out. Then the sixth one, sharing water from well. If you have a dream where you are drawing water from a well and you're sharing to others, seventh one, dream of a dried well. Well, where there is no water. Eighth one, where you meet opposite gender. If you are a girl or a boy, you meet your opposite gender by the side of a well. If you've had any of these dreams, I'm going to help us walk through it. But this particular video, if you come to my YouTube channel or Facebook page, you will see other interpretations. But this particular one, I will focus on dream where you draw a clean water from a, from a well. God bless you. Now, without taking any of your time, I will tell you that a well, a clean water from well means life. If you go to the book of John chapter 4 verse 14 and he said, but whosoever drinks of this water that I shall give him will never test but the water that I shall give him will become in him a fountain of water springing up into everlasting life. Drawing water from well and that well is a clean water it means life. Life from God. When you wake up you need to pray then number two, water from well, clean water, means fruitfulness and prosperity. In the book of Genesis chapter 26 verse 22, he said, And he moved from there and dug another well, being Isaac, if you remember the story. And they did not quarrel over it. So he called its name Rehoboth, because he said, For now the Lord hath made room for loss, and we shall be fruitful in the land. Yes, when you dream of drawing water, clean water from well, it represents fruitfulness. Like I said, drawing a clean water from well means emotional fulfillment. It means abundance. It means, it, it means nourishment. Yes, sense of nourishment. Then number three, well, clean water from a well in dream means supply and provisions. Numbers 21 verse 16 and 17, it said, From there they went to there, which is the well where the Lord said to Moses, Gather the people together and I will give them water. Then Israel sang this song, Spring up, O oh well, all of you sing to it. That is where the Israelites, they were provided by, they were provided of water by God. Dream of a clean water. Then number four, if you have a dream where you are drawing water from a clean water, it means, it represents encounter, an encounter with God, depending on who you are, then, and depending on your faith and your stand with God. 
I want you to know that dreams, all these things I'm calling out, one single dream can mean them, but it will differ depending on who you are and your stand with God. That is the biblical meaning, the spiritual meaning of drawing water, having a dream where you draw water, a clean water from well. Then, but we are seeing it from the angle of Bible as Christians. Then, it represents encounter with God, grace encounter. Genesis 16, 13 to 14. Then she called the name of the Lord who spoke to her. You are the God who sees. For she said, have I also he here seen him who sees me? Therefore the well was called Beis. Lahai, Lord. Observe it between Kedesh and Bere. That is, that is Hagar. When, when Abraham permitted Sarah, to pursue, to pursue away the maid who gave birth to Ishmael. Yeah, you remember if you study the book of Genesis chapter 16, you see that it was by the spring, by the spring that the angel of the Lord God encountered, encountered her. Then you see that drawing water from well means good thing always, but it depends on who you are. You must, you must know. Then the fifth one, where well, represent salvation, salvation, clean water. Isaiah chapter 12, verse 3. He said, Therefore, with joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Yes. So if you see yourself drawing water from well, clean water, it could be that God is giving you know, salvation is a particular deliverance from Satan. We have different types of deliverances. Deliverance from sickness is called healing. Yes, deliverance from wretchedness, it's called open doors. Deliverance from devil, oppression of the demonic oppression and Satan is called salvation. So, if you have that dream, depending on who you are and your stand with God, it could mean that God is giving you salvation. Then six, where well represents past generation. Yes, to do what they couldn't do or to renew what they did but was taught. If you draw water from well, it could be telling you that there is something your forefathers or your father started, which is good thing that God has bestowed on your fam on your family, but he couldn't continue it, he couldn't finish it, that it is not for you to renew it or start it or whatever. Then if you go to the book of Genesis chapter 26 verse 18, and Isaac dug again, Underline it, talk again, the wells of water which they had dug in the days of Abraham, his father. For the Philistines has, had, had stopped them, had stopped them up. After the death of Abraham, he caught them by the names which his father had called them. Yes, Isaac went and dug again the well that was already dug by his father, Abraham, which Philistines. So who is the Philistines in your life? that stopped something good that your father could have done. Just like David couldn't build the house for the Lord God, but Solomon built it. There are many things that our father could have done, which God has bestowed in our family, but it is not left for us to do it. Now, having gone through these six major interpretations of drawing water, clean water from, from well in dream, then I'll give you two solutions. What do you do if you have this dream where you are drawing water from well, clean water. You don't just wake up and stay. First, you wake up, you pray. You need to pray because in the book of Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 10, he said that God has given us power and set us above nations and kingdoms. Three things he said, one, to root out and to pull down, to throw down and to destroy. All these ones is to damage ever. Then the third one said to build and to plan, which means establishment. You need to establish that dream. Yes, because you need to decree over it. The book of Job chapter 22, 28, it said that we shall pass a decree and it shall be established for us. So, first thing you do is to pray. After praying, the second thing you do is to worship. Worship, raise altar for God. If you worship, you raise altar. In the book of Genesis chapter 26, verse 25, so he built an altar there and called on the name of the Lord and he pitched his tent there and there Isaac, some and Isaac's servants dug a well. You see, Isaac went to that place before he dug that well. First of all, he pitched tent and he raised altar. Yes, for that dream to 
to manifest. After praying, you need to raise altar, sing, pray, go to church. Anyhow, you know there are different ways. Time may not permit us to to explain many ways you can raise altar to God. Then the third one, after praying, after worship, worship is one of it. Giving God worship, singing, praising God for for revealing, thanking Him that even that which has revealed must come. Because in the book of Numbers chapter twenty three verse nineteen, said that He cannot say it without doing it. Then the third one is sacrifice. For you to await that prophetic visitation, you give sacrifice. Genesis chapter 46, verse 1 and 2. He said, So Israel took his journey with all that they had and came to Bethshaba and offered sacrifices to God of his father Isaac. Then God spoke to Israel in the vision of the night and said, Jacob, Jacob, and he said, Here yeah, I am. So Israel now offered sacrifice, yes. And during that sacrifice, God now spoke to him. So you need to offer sacrifice for it to, to, to not be stopped. Remember that you have a dream does not mean that it has happened. Remember that there are still negative techniques and ways that enemy can stop your good dream from manifesting. So you don't just, likewise, when you have a bad dream, you don't fear, you cancel it. Yes, because the book of 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7 said, God has not given us spirit of fear, but of sound mind, power, and love. The same way when you have good dream, you still need to pray to establish it. Yes, God bless you. Once more, I uh, remain my humble self, evangelist, engineer, chocolate, namane. Please kindly make sure you don't forget to subscribe. It is very important to us. We are not asking you for money. Assist us by subscribing. Like this video. Share. Leave a comment so that YouTube and Facebook will be able to circulate and show other people this video. God bless you.